Hello, my fellow Ripplers. This is Chris Miles, your cash flow expert and anti-financial advisor. Welcome out for a wonderful show, a show that's for you and about you. Those of you that work so hard for your money and you're ready for your money to start working harder for you today. You want that freedom, that cash flow, that prosperity right now, not 30 or 40 gazillion years from now, but today. So you have that freedom, that all that prosperity, abundance, and a lifestyle and everything that you need so you can be able to be with those you love doing what you love. And you, if you work, you work by choice because you work because you want to, not because you have to. So guys, I'm so excited to have you here as part of this. Thank you for following. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing with other people, and binging and whatever you've been doing here. But most importantly, thank you if you even act upon these things as well. If you're actually doing something about it, awesome. By the way, thank you so much for those people that act where you feel prompted to say, Chris, I think I need you to start helping me with this now. Awesome. Thank you so much for including me as part of that because that is what really fires me up every day. And, and I love it, guys. So thank you for being a part of my life and allowing me to share my ripple effect through you so you can create a ripple effect of your own. As a reminder, check out our website, moneyripples.com. Great, great uh, stuff on there, blogs, more podcasts and everything else you can possibly get, plus a free ebook called Beyond Rice and Beans, Seven Secrets to Free Up Cash Today that you can download for free, so check it out. So right now I wanna talk about specifically something that um, I see a lot of business owners do, and in fact, I've been guilty of myself, right? Uh, because you know you talk to different business owners and they'll talk about all the money they make, right? And I, tell, I say this all the time, it's not about the amount of money you make, it's what you keep that really matters, right? And what happens is that if you, as a business owner, want freedom, you gotta master this principle I'm gonna talk about here. And this was something that was actually inspired by Mike Michalowicz. Um, he's the guy that wrote Profit First. If you've heard of that book, I've mentioned it on the show before, as well as his other book, The Pumpkin Plan. Great books if you wanna get some good books to read. But in Profit First, um, he actually spoke live to a mastermind group about this concept, about, you know, again, the profit is the first thing you look for. You know, how do you pay yourself first, right? From your business where not where you spend everything in your business and you bring no money home. It's about having more profit, right? And, uh, and he talked about profit, but here's the thing is that many people think they have profit, but they don't. They'll say, well, yeah, I had this much profit. It was awesome. Well, here's the next question. What did you do with that profit? And if you said, hey, I paid myself or hey, I put it and I just let it sit there and, and grow inside of my business. You know, not, not invest in your business, right? Reinvest in your business, but actually let it sit aside and be in cash and that kind of thing. If you're not doing those things, if it's not either going to cash sitting there or that's pure profit, right? Or if it's not even going back to you and you're reinvesting back into your business, as you would say, right? Here's the thing. If you're reinvesting every dollar you have into your business, you have no profit and therefore you have no freedom. Does that make sense? Because if you're just reinvesting back in your business, what are you doing? You're spending money. You might say you're investing money and hey, maybe it is, but if every dollar keeps going back in, back into the business, you know, and maybe it starts generating some income for you. Great. That's awesome. And I'm all for that. But if there's no room for profit, no room for actual surplus of your money, what will happen is you'll find that you're, you actually create this entrepreneur trap. You're stuck. You're actually in the rat race of the very thing that should be giving you freedom, which is your business. And by the way, business is awesome. I love business. I obviously have a business called Money Ripples, right? Um, but on top of that, like that business you look at people around the world, right? The richest people in the world all have businesses. Even the investors have businesses. Everybody has a business. That's what creates great wealth. But if that doesn't generate real income, and I don't just mean active income, but if it's just you're constantly stuck in that business, working it and working it and working it, and all you're doing is re quote unquote, reinvesting it back in your business, which really means you're just spending more money in your business, what will happen is you will find yourself stuck in your business forever. So just like I taught before some episodes back when I talked about, you know, one of the first things you do before you even worry about investing with little money is start to save 10%, right? 
Start to put away money for your own personal life. Build up your cash reserves. Build that, that security and that freedom up before you even worry about investing. The same is true is creating that, that habit of profit for your business. So what you do, and now it may not have to be 10%, you know, it might be 5%, it might be a certain number there, but do the same thing. Put that money away into your business. You know, put that money that goes into savings. Now, sure, it might pay to you personally later on. It might be those profits that become dividends that get paid later on to yourself. Now, you might keep some more money in the practice in, in your business. I, I actually recommend you keep growing a little bit of money in your business, right? You have something accessible and it's there. Um, you want emergency reserves for your business too. You know, like I, I, I want to make sure that, you know, my business has enough reserves that I can keep paying myself, you know, my typical salary. I can pay my salary even if there's zero money that came in, which never happens. But what if it did? You know, what if there was a month where nothing came in, you know? Luckily, I got passive income streams that kind of creates that insurance policy for myself, right? With passive and residual streams, you know, that helps tremendously. Um, but for many of you, you don't have that. It's basically, if you don't work, you don't eat, right? You don't work, you don't have, you don't have money. And if you're in that kind of place, it's even more important to have reserves, right? It's even more important to make sure that you can keep paying yourself, you know? And so taking some of that money that you make every single month or whatever it might be, you might do it every week. You might say, here's what came in this week. You know, maybe you said, I brought in even numbers here. You brought in $10,000 that week. Cool. Take, you know, if it's 10%, take a thousand bucks, set it aside. You've got 9,000. Now you might set aside some for taxes and things like that. I definitely recommend you do that, by the way, um, especially if you're in business. You want to set aside some money for taxes, but, you know, break that off. Make sure you have money still to pay yourself. So you might say, hey, of, of that 10,000 bucks I make, the, you know, 30% pays to me, right? That's 3,000 bucks. Great. Awesome. That's what gets paid to you. That means after you've paid the thousand bucks into your profit account, right? And you can put that into an interest bearing account, of course. Um, then you got your 3000 going to you, you know, and then maybe set aside, we'll say another 2000 bucks for taxes. All right. That leaves you 4,000 to spend. That's all you can spend, right? It's a reverse mindset. And I love that about the profit first thing is that the expenses is the last thing that's left. It's like whatever's left, that's what you can spend. You can't spend any more. That's it. That's basically like your budget, right? You know, the next month, if you only did 5,000, well, guess what? Every, those percentages are going to lower. You know, you're going you're gonna to only have maybe a few thousand bucks you can spend that week and so on, right? If, I hope that makes sense for you guys because the, the trap I see happen, and I, I've been guilty of this, right? I would take money and yes, I'd pay myself my wages. I would do that pretty well. Like I did that better than most business owners would. Because a lot of business owners would just take that money and put it right back in their business. And then their families are at home saying, where's the paycheck? Where's the money? Why is your, you know, why is your employee getting, or your contractor getting paid more than you are at your, your business? You're the one that owns it. Why do they get paid more? Well, that's why, right? Um, but on top of that, the thing that I wasn't doing, you know, even though I was paying myself, is I wasn't putting money aside for profit to say, hey, of all the money we make, we keep. We build it up. And again, it could be just like what I said in that previous episode where it might be five bucks, 20 bucks, whatever it is to build those reserves, do that, you know? And yeah, you can figure out what to do with that money later on as it gets bigger and bigger. You might, you know, you might keep it in there. By the way, a business becomes great value when you've got cash stored in the business. You can actually sell that with the business, you know, and it's dollar for dollar. So if you said, if you had a hundred thousand in cash in your business, the business is worth a million bucks. You could say, Hey, well, I want 1.1 million. If you want the cash in this business, otherwise I'm taking it out. It's mine. <laughs> you know, and I'm getting my 100,000 one way or the other, right? You can do that kind of stuff. And so, so anyways, that's, that's the point here is that watch, not, don't get caught in that trap of always reinvesting. Again, I'm all for investing your business, especially when it generates a return, but it's got to be done with wisdom and order. It's got to be done the right way. And so, focus on this. You know, when you're focused on implementing from this podcast here, focus on this is what can I do to put that money aside and not touch it, you know, not set aside for a month and then spend it anyways. Right. But actually put it aside, get in the habit of putting the money aside, not touching it. And then 
you could start to integrate like the next level of stewardship, which is all right, now we're building up this reserve and maybe you got more than enough in reserves that you're like, I got too much reserves. Great. And then we can figure out then. But again, you've got to develop that habit of always pulling out some profit. If you look at a company in a stock market, they always have profit, right? They will show profit. If they don't show profit, their stock price goes down. What is your stock price of your business if someone were to put a price to it? Is it going up or is it going down? You start doing this, it goes up. It looks good. Banks even like it. You can get better lending deals and better interest rates and all that kind of stuff just by doing this kind of this habit. So don't get caught in that trap of always reinvesting your money back in the business because you're just spending money into the business. Focus on holding money in the business. Focus on pulling that money out. And especially if we move into a recession, you will thank me that you got extra money aside that will be a that will allow you to be able to take advantage of opportunities for whatever might start crashing. Because I'll tell you, when a recession hits, that's when people get desperate for cash. And so trust me, that is a big deal. Anyways, guys, that's my tip for you guys at this point. Take it, use it, apply it, and love it. Make it a wonderful and prosperous day. We'll see you later.